Well, Hospital Porter's Pride and Dignity Stop the New World Order. Welcome to her Panwo TV. I'm out of it, that's the entrance. I've just come out. All right, all went really well. All my kind of um, fears were not substantiated. <laughs> Thank you. You know, and uh, everything went okay in the end, and I was kind of, I've got to get back, just get back to the station now. So I think it's this way. Oh God, I'll go this way, because I don't want to risk going the wrong way. This is only a short distance. But that was kind of, uh, yeah, it's very interesting actually. And the guy, Chris, who, who sort of like come and met me, he was the guy who sort of conducted the event. And um, I'll have to tell you more about it later on because I've got lots of photos I've taken. I'll have to go home, I'll have to upload the photos, uh, stuff like that. And then I'm going to have to think about what I've done. It's now 10, it's, it's half past nine, just gone half past nine. And I need to get back to Oxford. So I'm going to go back to the, hope you can hear me in the wind. I'm going to go back to the station now. Basically, we went into this hall. It's much more elaborate than I thought. There were about 100 people there, more than I expected. I thought it'd be like a 20, 20 man affair or something. But we had a little lecture about fusion energy. And um, then, uh, and then um, they took us on a tour around the whole areas all the areas in the laboratory, which is massive, massive buildings full of machines. Um, it took us to the jet, the joint European Taurus, uh, which was a big, uh, huge kind of, um, like I said, it's the tokamak I was explaining about in the nuclear fusion power film. And uh, so I'm going this way. It's just back there, as I'll show you, it's all over there, that way. If you remember the, where I took you, where I took you in the nuclear fusion power film. I'm on the other side of the building to that. Um, and we went to the control room, which is full of computers. Um, I think what I had to do, I will have to go home, get uh, get all these photos uploaded, and I'll do this little thing at home. It'll have to be tomorrow sometime. I have to upload these videos when I've done. You know, those videos, upload these videos when I've done that. Um, but uh, very glad I went. Um, as soon as I got in there, the reception people were very nice. My name was on the list. They said, oh, I'll give Chris a ring. She gave him a ring. He came up and picked me up and he escorted me to the room in this huge site to form an airfield. And then uh, we, did, we did the guided tour. Um, I didn't see anything suspicious at all. There were no locations of the type James, James Casbold talks about. Although, you know, I did, <laughs> I did take a... There's a couple of areas that led down to basements, but... I mean, anything that Cas, the kind of stuff that Casbold talks about would be a lot more... Either prominent, there'd be a lot more areas sealed off. Um, or, you know, there's not... A lot more sort of... Uh, Or something you wouldn't even see at all. Um, anyway, that's it. <laughs> Nearly back at the station now. Um, and I'm glad I went. And um, as I said, as much as I am, as you know from the first film, I have this cynical side to myself about the whole thing uh, based on the issues I raised in the first film. But, you know, these people here are so passionate about it. And they, they're just so full of energy and they're so full of... They really believe this can transform the world. I share their passion. I think I just disagree on their methods. Um, OK, I'm, I'm nearly back at the station now. I've got to catch a train. The last train goes in about 10 minutes. What's the time now? Ooh, 22. Right then, till later. Hospital Port's pride and dignity stop the new world order.